Megan and Kate's enviable designer wardrobe naturally comes at a cost, but not one picked up by the British taxpayer. According to royal finance expert David McClure, the Duchesses fund their extravagant clothing collection from a yearly pound five million fund donated to them by Prince Charles. The princely sum comes from the Prince of Wales official household budget, funded by the Duchy of Cornwall estate, reports Yahoo's Royal Box. Mr McClure explained, the public doesn't pay a penny for the clothes of Meghan and Kate. The main source of funding for their official duties comes from Prince Charles as Duchy of Cornwall, which gives them £5 million a year. He added that we don't know what percentage of that figure is spent on clothes as it's treated as a lump sum. We previously reported that Meghan spent £431,000 on new clothing in the year she became a Duchess, compared to Kate's £55,000 in 2011. A study by UFO No More revealed the Duchess of Sussex debuted 248 new items in the year she tied a nod to Prince Harry, in instances where the retail price could be identified. It's perhaps unsurprising that Meghan lavished more cash on clothes than Kate. Having enjoyed a successful acting career prior to joining the firm, Meghan was estimated to have been worth around £3.7 million. One of the habits Meghan will have had to adapt to when becoming a fully-fledged member of the royal family is no longer being able to carry cash around with her. According to Mr McClure, senior royals never take money out with them on official engagements. Senior royals do not normally carry cash, he said. Diana certainly didn't. The Queen doesn't carry cash in nor does Prince Charles. There is always someone at hand with the ruddies. Speaking of cash, last year the Sunday Times rich list estimated that the Queen is worth around pound 370 million. Mr McClure said the bulk of our monarch's wealth comes from her inheritance. There's her two private estates, Balmoral and Sandringham, which are probably worth about pound 100 million that she got from her father. George VI, he explained. There is also a fabulous collection of art and jewelry, private art treasures that again came from her parents. That's probably worth more than pound 100 million. There is also a stamp collection and some fabulous cars. So those are all inherited. The Queen also receives income from her semi-private Duchy of Lancaster, which was not given to her by her parents but goes with the job of being monarch. Mr McClure told how in recent years this portfolio of property, which brings in rental income, has seen the profits rise enormously, with last year's income over pound 20 million. It is sort fair to say that Duchy is her cash cow. It is the mainspring of her wealth, Mr McClure remarked. Controversially, he also pointed out he has seen no firm evidence that proves how the royal family boosts tourism in the UK.